We are gonna make grilled cheese in the toaster. I know. Please subscribe and ring the bell so you'll get a notification of all of our new videos. So we're gonna make some grilled cheese today and everyone knows you make grilled cheese what? In a pan, yes, in a pan. But no, not today. Today we are gonna try out these toaster bags where you can make grilled cheese in your toaster. I'm not too sure, I'm willing to give it a shot, so let's give it a shot. Basic ingredients for your grilled cheese, right? For this, for this one. We got some bread and we got some cheese. So they have these little bags here and they, uh, they say that you can be used over 50 times. So we're gonna give that a shot. You just put the, the sandwich into the bag. It's, it's much easier to say it is, say it than do it. Okay, by the time I get the thing in the bag, I'm gonna be starving. There we go, all right. So we got our toast, got our sandwich in the bag. We put it in the toaster, push it down. Doesn't seem to wanna go down. All right. <laughs> and now we wait. I'm waiting. <laughs> you know, while I'm waiting for this grilled cheese to, to be made in the toaster, I could probably go make a grilled cheese in the pan, eat it, clean up, and still wait for this, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So, um, usually when you get smoke coming out of your toaster, that's not a good thing. Um, looking in here, I see that the cheese isn't 100% melted yet, but I'm a little concerned with the smoke. Is that, is that the brown? You know, like when you make grilled cheese in the pants and they still have crust? You know, oh, look at that. It popped up. Look at this, all right. We're gonna put the toast, ooh, that's, look at that, smoky cheese. All right, here we go. Oh, yes. Just how I like my grilled cheese, burnt. Now, let's take a look though, you know what? It did a, a fairly decent job of uh, of melting the cheese. Give it a little cut. Oh, I take that back. So you can see on the edges that the cheese is melted. Nice gooey good, right? But if you look in the center, it's not melted at all. Well, let's, let's give it at least a taste test on the outside. I gotta admit, it's not that good. No offense to the cheese bags, but look at this. Look at the bag. It's got a bunch of melted cheese in it. You know, it's a neat idea. Um, maybe we had it on a little too long in the toaster, who knows, but the cheese didn't melt. So my recommendation is just to go ahead and make grilled cheese the old fashioned way, not in the toaster. Save the toaster for toast. Keep on cooking.